Hi, it's Scott the Urban Beekeeper. We're going to inspect this hive this afternoon. I, I put a package of bees in this hive on May 6th. It is now April, April, May, April 6th, May 19th. It is now May 19th, and we're going to, uh, 13 days later, we're going to see how they did. Here is my smoker. First thing you want to do is just gently puff a little smoke at the entrance. A little bit at the back entrance, which is kind of closed up. I don't know why. And you want to work slowly. I have a hard time with that myself. I'm always trying to rush through it. Let's see if we can go slowly. You take the lid, set it off to the side, upside down on the grass. I don't know if you can see that. Gently. And always at the sides, not at the ends, because at the ends, the box is thin where the frames sit in it, where it's cut out for the frames to sit in. At the sides, it's at its thickest. So you want to put your tool in there, gently raise it up. Again, they want it gentle and slow. They don't like popping, banging. And then you crisscross that, lay that on the lid. Very little smoke, I hope. I don't really want to bum them out too bad. It's a nice day. And they should be out foraging, not bumming because I'm smoking them. Uh, I'm going to say the root is down in the bottom box of this, just from experience here. So I'm going to go directly to the bottom box from experience because I know when I hive them. I just smashed a bee, I heard her go crunch. Smashed a couple. I decided not to do that. Let's see if we got to it up in the second box first. I like to slide all my frames over to one side. Pull out the second frame in. Nothing on it. Plasticell. Set it down. And then start moving these frames over. And you want to move slow, and I'm not. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide them over real quick and see if I can find some glue. I don't think I will. That's why I went to that. Almost immediately wanted to go to the second box. I'm trying to find it. It's going to be on this frame. This has the most bees, probably. And they're not. They're just cleaning up the hive. I've given them this box. They had honey and pollen. But because I'm going to put this completely empty frame all the way to the outside, like I said I like to push everybody over so we get to me. Pull this off. Now we're getting into it. There's the big ice wash. Sorry, honey. you take the box, a box off, you should blow a little smoke over the top. And I found that 
it's just better for everybody if the if smoking a little bit. Try not to smoke them a ton. It's like they're building out comb on this frame. Let's hope we find some cat brood in here. See if I can try and find the queen. This is not my forte. I usually have to bring my son with me. Very nice. Very nice. Take out one more. Just because. the other side. I guess I won't. I'll stick with what they know. Got to be very gentle sliding them back. Or if I were to smash that little queen line. Especially when she's doing so well. That's a nice looking brood. So, slide these back. Squish the girl between the frames. I hurt her. In general, I think I do pretty good. I may also stop that. One side. Seems like they can't get that one side and that they go burk home on the other. So let's try centering them. Let's see how that works for me. All right, beautiful. Let's put her back. <clears throat> I think just like this. I like to try and put the brood, put the bees back on top of the bees. Maybe they want that way. What way? Where? Took it off. My foot. Shoot! I wish I noticed. I go back and play my video. They'll figure it out. Sorry, girls. Put it all back together. Slowly. 